Good evening. First tonight, Rhode Island's Democratic representatives in Washington meet in Coventry almost 48 hours after House Republicans saw their health care overhaul unravel. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Galunian live in Coventry now with more on today's forum. Kim. Well, Jared, Senators Reed and White House and Congressman Langevin listened to more than two hours of constituents' questions and comments. And based on those, it was clear that today's crowd was heavy on opponents of President Trump and his goals to repeal and replace Obamacare. So my question, and again, it's health care. I guess it's a hot topic today. On the heels of the failed Republican plan to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, a town hall for constituents at Coventry High School. I believe that Washington heard you loud and clear. It turned up the heat so much on, uh, in a bipartisan way on, on, uh, on members of the, the House and Senate, particularly on the House side, because the ACA uh, repeal and replace effort, I believe, is dead. Some at Sunday's gathering expressing relief over the House GOP's decision to pull the health care bill, while others say it's time to push for a single-payer health care system. Right now, I think a lot of people, even those who might have supported uh, President Trump in the campaign, are saying, this is not going to help me, and why is he doing it? Others still say the Affordable Care Act wasn't so affordable after all. Keep everyone in mind. Just, we need to stop the fighting and the divisiveness and the hatefulness. We, we need, please, we need to stop that. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse says he's hopeful bipartisan efforts will now be successful. I mean, there's plenty of room for us to work together if they'd only try. And while health care was front and center, Trump's proposed budget and the investigation into his campaign's ties with Russia were also on constituents' minds. If we're not careful, every traitorous step will lengthen into a goose step. And Vladimir Lenin has become Vladimir Putin, who will become Vladimir Trump. And on the topic of that Russian investigation, Senator Reid tells us he's still in favor of appointing a special prosecutor to that investigation and says he will be advocating for that when he returns to Washington, D.C. Reporting live in Coventry with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.